What's up, world, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sites, and today I got some real simple VFX to show y'all. Something that y'all might be able to use every single music video. You feel me? I don't know if there's videos on this out there, but yeah, here's some information for y'all today. Tap in. Hey, brothers. So it took me a while to get here, but um, let's just start with that simple flash. And all you need is a new layer, solid, and boom. All you gotta do is scale it down, and you're good. And I would just have it last like one frame. And if not, sometimes I could, you know, duplicate it. Just having two of them. Two of them looks cool as well. You know, it's very clean. You know what I'm saying? So if you wanted to like let that flash go a little longer, duplicate this um the solid and bring it to the beginning of your next clip, like, you know, the clip you're trying to transition to. And you just drag that John out. You hit T, you hit a stopwatch on this opacity. You come to this last one and press zero. And you can uh, F9 that John, so you could be smooth. And then we just bring the modes down. Uh, so it's not there too long, but. You feel what I'm saying? That's real swaggy. And this next one, it's pretty cool. All it is, is some exposure. I want you to add an adjustment layer and just throw a regular exposure. And now you want to hit the stopwatch, maybe like seven frames before your second clip starts. You want to have that keyframe over there and you could come to the middle, press U, and then just up this to like, this always depends on your music video. A seven is a high number. You don't want to make it, you know, extremely uh, crazy because then like those reds start to bleed and you get this ugly color. Like you see the blues, like that's, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. So um, we come to the end and we press zero and then we F9 that John. And I'm gonna add something else to complement this. Just give me one moment. All right. After we uh, ease those keyframes, all right, and we could sauce it up with just adding a simple radio blur to this, brothers. So let's come in, and radio blur, and let's make sure it's centered on the subject's face, which is Wolfie. So, and let's just go from um, the amount, right? And in the middle, we want to make the keyframe for the amount, have it at 10. Oh, well, nah, maybe less than that, because it's a little too much. Like eight, bring this back down to zero. Feel what I'm saying? Easy, ease them keyframes. You always got to come in here and mess with your, uh, your ramps, buddies. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, for the last one, it's a little temporary blur. You feel what I'm saying? This one is in my pack. So if you just add an adjustment layer, bro, and you come over here and you type in BTC temporal blur in the middle in between both of my clips i had mixed with the original at zero and then the last keyframe i had it at 100. so then after i would just f9 come in here and do the same thing i do to most of my keyframes and bring them boys in bring them boys in I really wasn't trying to half-ass y'all today, you feel me? But you know I got a big surprise for tomorrow, you feel me? So yeah, man, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, and hey, hold on. Before y'all dip out, bro, I need y'all to go to jsites.nyc right now and go check out that Drill Essentials V1, V2. And if you want to get both of them at a discounted price, bro, you could just cop the Deluxe. The Deluxe has a whole bunch of presets in there for rotoscopes. It has 3D overlays, presets for After Effects. Y'all are situated if y'all go and get this pack. Trust me. Other than that, man, I'm out of here, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.